Module One, Lesson Fourteen. Our objective today is to use place value understanding to decompose to smaller units up to three times using the standard algorithm. We'll be using tape diagrams, and we'll also see at least one word problem. Here I have the problem. Let's read it. Fifteen thousand three hundred seventy-two. Minus 3,485. Watch as I draw a tape diagram where I'll label the whole, I'll label the known part, and I'll also label the unknown part with the variable. So this is the whole. Our whole is 15,372. Our known part this time, that number we are subtracting from there, from our whole, is 3,485. So we know this amount here, that's 3,485. What we don't know is our variable here, and that's the amount that we are solving for. And let's label that E. Let's look across the digits. Am I ready to subtract? No, I'm not. Do I have enough units in each of those columns? That is, is the number in the top here bigger than that number down below? In this case, 2 minus 5, no, I don't even have enough in the ones place. I regroup from the tens place where one of those tens, that's why the seven becomes a six, can be, and that one ten that is being regrouped is now equal to ten ones, and that's why we can put a one there, and along with the two ones that were there, we have twelve ones, and then we're ready to subtract our ones. Twelve minus five gives us, right, seven. Are we ready to subtract our tens? Nope. So the 3 becomes a 2. We take that 100, regrouping it to 10 tens, and that's why that 6 tens becomes 16 tens. 16 tens minus 8 gives us 8 tens. We're not ready to subtract here in our hundreds, so we'll take one of those thousands, the 5 becomes a 4, and the two hundreds become twelve hundreds. That one thousand is also equal to ten hundreds. Twelve minus four is eight. Four minus three is one. And we make sure that we have that one ten thousand there as well. So we have eleven thousand eight hundred eighty seven, which we have solved for that unknown. Can you read this whole problem? We add 15,372 minus 3,485 equaling 11,887. The other thing that we're going to do is that we will check our answer this time. And so this will be a change from what it is that we did previously. We'll take this 11,887 and we'll add it to 3,485. And hopefully, when we line those up correctly and we carefully do our work there, just like we had done previously with that standard algorithm in our previous lessons, 100, 800 is 9. And four more hundreds of 13, we place the 3 and regroup the 1. Those thousands, that's 5. And then there's a 1 there. So this does check where it is I have 15,372, which was what I had originally there. So our answer is correct. And remember, this is our answer right here that unknown that we had solved for, where this is our check. 
Okay, it's your turn to try. Please make sure to draw the tape diagram and also use the inverse operation when you're done to make sure that you check your work. Go ahead and pause that video. The full amount, the big, huge bar, and the whole was 203,120. The known part of that whole was 31,350. And then so we label the known part of 31,350. The unknown is what we're solving for. And yes, you could have chosen any letter to represent that. I'll choose F. And we start our subtraction. In the ones place, zero minus zero is zero. And in the tens place is where we get our first regroup. Where do we regroup from? Right, the hundreds, where one of those hundreds became 10 tens. 12 minus 5 is 7. 0 minus 3, oops, can't do that, so I have to regroup from the thousands. The 3 becomes a 2, and that 0 can become 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. 2 minus 1 in the thousands place is 1. 0 minus 3, I cannot do that. Therefore, I regroup from the 10 thousands place, where one of those 10 thousands equals 10 thousands. 10 minus 3 is 7, and that 1 can come down. Count my places off. 1, 2, and 3 leaves me with F equaling 171,770. To check, I will add this amount here, what I solved for, to the 31,350. If you didn't do your check yet, go ahead and pause the video while you set up your check and you solve for it. Carefully lining up those digits and running through my check, showing my regroups where I need to, does show me that 203,120, just like I had as my whole originally. So my answer again is 171,770, and my check worked. Here we have a problem, and it's a word problem. Take a moment to read this with me. Bruce needed to buy furniture for the school district. He has a budget of $201,125. He has spent $73,082. How much money does Bruce have left for furniture? Let's think about the operation that we're using to solve this problem. We would be using subtraction. And let's go ahead and draw a tape diagram that will represent the problem. The full amount and the whole amount that he had and that he started with, that's the whole amount, was 201,125. So we'll go ahead and label that. The known amount is 73,082. That's the amount that he has spent of the $201,125. So we will label that known amount of 73,082. The unknown amount, or the variable that we're solving for, we'll label it M. That's what we're solving for. That will be the amount that Bruce has left for furniture. Let's write a focused answer. It'll have blank dollars left for furniture. So, what sort of problem are we going to set up here? We'll take that full amount there and that whole amount and subtract 73,000. 
82. Can we subtract in the ones place? Yes. However, in the tens place, we cannot do 2 minus 8. So we'll take one of those hundreds and regroup it to 10 tens. 12 minus 8 is 4. 0 minus 0 is 0. In this case, I cannot subtract 1,000 minus that 3,000, so I'll have to regroup. However, as you see, I cannot regroup from that 10,000s place. What I need to do is to take one of those 100,000s to regroup it to the 10,000s place. So 100,000 equals 10 10,000s, and then I can regroup one of those 10,000s to 10 1,000s. So 11 minus 3 is 8, 9 minus 7 is 2, and then I can bring down that 1. So that Bruce has $128,043 left for furniture. If I run my check for this, I'm using the inverse operation of addition and carefully adding those two together to make sure that I have calculated the right number. And as you can see, by that check, the problem does check.